Hey guys, thanks for joining us again on another Metal Madness Reload. And we have been having a blast with this Tipman Elite and the Tipman Pro. Last match we had, Metal Madness match we had, a couple weeks ago Saturday, T and I weren't able to be at it. We had to go to Vegas to the SHOT Show. So we sent these guns to an affiliate range for them to run them while we were away. They told me it rained and it sleeted. It was just a nasty day. So I'm gonna clean these today, show you how easy it is to clean, because we have another Metal Madness match at an affiliate range this coming Saturday, and I wanna make sure they're ready to go. This gun right here has probably shot somewhere in the neighborhood of 2,000 rounds since it was last cleaned. I'm gonna show you just how simple it is, and by doing just a little bit of work on it, it'll make it so much easier to keep and maintain. I'm gonna make sure this firearm's clear. This is a Tipman Elite, one of our new sponsors, by the way. All right. Put her on my little stand, pop her open. That's all it takes to break this down. Pull out your bolt, charging handle. Let's, let's do a little on the bolt here. This bolt is really pretty clean. We're gonna use Lucas Oil CLP. It's an awesome solvent for, for cleaning up carbon. Gonna shoot a little bit in the bolt face, a little bit on it. We're gonna set it here and let it kind of soak for a minute. Get a little straw, put it on, shoot a little down in the barrel, and let it soak for a minute. While them are soaking, let me show you some of the things we've added to this gun. We've added an Elfman tactical trigger that Art and his crew has designed just for rimfire platform. You can go to their website and pick one of these up. These triggers are designed to run in the M4 platform on a rimfire. If you have a Polymar gun, you're gonna wanna order one with the four springs on it for the housing. Keeps it setting on the housing without it doing damage to the housing where the trigger hit sits. This trigger, an other style of guns, really gets dirty from carbon and unburnt powder. With the M4 design, these magazines, and the way they've designed this, keeps most of that dirt out of the trigger guard. So all I'm gonna have to do for my trigger today, just take some air, and shoot that out. I promise you, we haven't cleaned this gun before this started. Trigger's good and clean, nothing come out of it. All right, that's set and soaked enough. Let's run a rod through the barrel. Now, when you're cleaning your any rifle or any pistol, you wanna make sure you hold onto the handle of the, of the brush and rod so that that brush can work in the rifling of the barrel. If you hold it solid and just push, push it down, it won't let that brush spin and work into the rifling and won't clean it out. Now I'm not gonna do it now for time matters, but then I'll come back and lightly oil this patch with Lucas Oil gun oil. We'll put a little bit on here, not a whole lot. Doesn't require a bunch. This bolt has set. We're gonna wipe off the CLP. I'm gonna take a little brush, just, just to kind of make sure there's no carbon in the firing pin housing and on the extractor. Okay, gonna wipe that all off. We'll take Lucas's gun oil. I'm gonna put just a little bit in the firing pin, put a dot or two into the extractor, bolt itself and then wipe it around. Take a lint-free rag, microfiber rag or something and just wipe it out. This gun right out of the box with the factory sights, factory trigger, factory everything will play Metal Madness or shoot anything right out of the box. It's got a four and a half pound trigger on it. It's all aluminum frame, upper and lower. The M4 platform, we have had so much fun with this gun. I have yet to have anybody 
take this gun in any shape out of the box or after we've customized it and, and, and not enjoyed shooting it. It is just a fun gun. And we're honored to have Tipman as a new sponsor to Metal Madness Shooting Sports. It's clean. <laughs>